Welcome back, thanks for watching. I'm always fascinated by um, the usage of the empty hand when it comes to a single weapon, usually single stick. A single sword, there's usage of the empty hand, yet it's really specific on the spine of the blade. With the stick, you can be really creative and versatile with it. Here's just a few ideas to get you moving in that direction and get you thinking about how you use your empty hand. First stage of this is gonna be three parts. So when I defend on the inside against an incoming angle one, the hand is gonna come here wedged behind. A lot of times you call this a left wall. Okay, the nature of this is that if the stick hits something, there's a tendency for the stick to blow back, to bounce back. So I go to defend and I get hit by my own stick. But if I wedge the hand underneath this and grasp my own hand, it's harder for the stick to bounce back. If you do this, you can feel the nature of that stick not being able to move because of the wedge here. The wedge is pretty specific in that I'm not just grabbing my own hand. I'm not grabbing the stick, at least not yet. It's a bit of both. The pad of my thumb is on my thumb. And then really the pad of the, let's call it pinky side of my hand is what's pressed against the stick. And it's pressed just above my grip here like this. Now, a skill that I think is worth getting used to is rolling the stick. This is something that I do if I'm just kind of sitting around watching TV or whatever. So I'm keeping pressure against my hand. Um, my hand on the stick, my stick on the hand. And when I roll, it moves with me this way. And this is, you could do this all the way up the forearm like that. So you're checking underneath, checking over top or with the hand. And you're kind of using the hand to move the stick. Right, see how it starts to punch itself into new positions with the hand. So when we wedge here, I roll on the back of the hand and bring this up. One, two. So this is almost like you're practicing something like an umbrella. One and two. You could use the wedge of the hand to push up. That would be slightly different variation on theme. But what I'm gonna do is roll and lift. Now again, I'm gonna roll it back to the wedge position and I'm gonna use the wedge position of my hand to rip this across. Okay, so that's one, two, three, one roll roll again if i wanted to i could use the wedge the whole time that's worthwhile but i like getting reps of this rolling thing so that this is being pushed it's being lifted and it's being pushed this shape this shape and again this shape defend defend and tack or defend attack and attack to reset i'm going to use the hand in the position that it's in to push the stick down and turn my wrist over, and now I'm back where I started. One, two, three, turn it over. So you can just let the hand grab, push, twirl it. And because who doesn't love stick twirling? It's fun. Two, three, and around. So that's it, just getting used to sticking and unsticking with the hand, and also as well how you can add some extra, oh, I don't know, force, some torque maybe, into your shots and into your stick work. Thanks for watching.